What is going on everybody, Zonic here, and in today's video, we have once again a leaderboard battle submission for the Jungle Cup from Smoot Criminal, running Guzzlord, Mantine, and a Shadow Tentacruel. This team, having a look at some of these battles, puts in so, so much work. I hope you guys enjoy. Shout out to Smoot Criminal for uh, for sharing these battles with us. Congrats on Legend and congrats on reaching the leaderboards. What they shared with the battle submission is they took this from 2700 to Legend and then onto the leaderboards very, very quickly. So let's see what this team is capable of. All right, getting into the first battle, we have Guzzlord on the lead versus Vigoroth. This is obviously a very tough matchup, so we're gonna see a swap out right away in into the shadow tend to cruel to get ahead on energy vigoroth looking to go for the body slam a little chip and dip as i do love to do myself and then we will see what decides to swap in no they're staying in okay maybe they have a second answer to guzzlord in the back so they're looking to go for the scald right here this is going to do quite a bit of neutral damage in the matchup and we do see a shield there on the vigoroth with the attack debuff as well that is really nice but this vigoroth is loaded on energy double body slams are ready to go so we will likely see a no shield yeah the tentacruel is just going to go ahead and let this go through mantine most likely going to be coming in but i wouldn't be surprised if guzzlord comes in to go for a farm down as the attack was debuffed yeah guzzlord's going to go ahead and come in body slam's not going to be doing as much damage dragon tail really still hurts in this matchup so they can probably get three more dragon tails in maybe four yeah, definitely four, and they should be able to farm down. Now, this is a very interesting approach, as the reason why the Vigoroth didn't swap out is because they must have a second answer to Guzzlord in the back, so let's see what it's going to be. It's going to be... any minute now... It's going to be a Zapdos right there. So the fighting flying Zapdos with counter. And we will see a Dragon Claw be thrown and a swap out into the Mantine right away. The opponent looking to stay in, maybe hoping to go for a Brave Bird here. So Mantine's going to be forced to shield this charge move. Actually, no, it's going to be the Ancient Power. Still a hard-hitting charge move. Talonflame decides to swap in. So this is now a fantastic position for Mantine right now, the energy that it can unleash. And just as long as this Talonflame doesn't have Brave Bird, I think they're going to be doing very, very well with the Aerial Ace uh, spam right here. Switch Clock almost coming back up. Let's see if we get a shield there. No shield from the Talonflame. They're going to be able to get an Aerial Ace for free, so the opponent desperately trying to overload on energy, making sure they have multiple charge moves ready to go. And uh, if this fly doesn't knock out, I think we will see a Mantine farm down. Yeah, it is going to be the fly. Not enough to knock out. We see a swap out into Guzzlord here to catch the charge move. This is a beautiful catch as the Talonflame is going to be forced to throw all the energy. The Mantine comes back in. Zapdos gets farmed down. Mantine has the Aerial Ace ready to go. And that is going to be a good game. Very well played. A nice little sweep, kind of pseudo sweep right there from Mantine. All right, getting into the next battle, we have Guzzlord on the lead versus Skarmory. Once again, kind of a tough matchup. Crunch is really nice to have here, but they will swap out into the Tentacruel. Now, this matchup isn't as bad because you are resisting the Steel Wings and Scald can debuff the attack. So the Tentacruel is going to look to invest a shield right here, stopping the Sky Attack or potential Brave Bird. And then we do see a Shadow... Dragonite come in, please. This is Sludge Wave, everyone, not Acid Spray. Let's see if it lands. Boom! See ya! Shadow Tentacruel coming in clutch right there, able to land the Sludge Wave as the opponent definitely did not see that coming. And now Tentacruel can easily go for the Scald here to put a lot of pressure, water pressure at that on this Skarmory. And we'll have to see if it does decide to give up a shield. No, it's going to let it go and they get the attack drop as well. Now, if this is Sky Attack, I don't think it's going to be enough to KO. Yeah, it's not enough to KO, so they will be able to farm down with Steel Wing, but they can easily bring in um, the uh, the Guzzlord right here and go for the aggressive farm down. They might have to give up a shield on the potential Brave Bird, but we'll have to see. No, they're just going to go ahead and let it go, even if it is Brave Bird. No, it's just going to be the Sky Attack, and now we get to see what the final Pokemon is. I'm curious if it's actually going to be a Vigoroth. That would make a lot of sense on this team. 
And no, it's going to be a Decidueye, which is even better. Obviously, Crunch is doing super effective damage here against the Ghost Grass. And it lands. Oh my goodness, that is all over. Good game. All right, moving to the next one. Guzzlord on the lead versus Talonflame. Really positive matchup now here in game number three. The opponent is deciding to stay in, so they must be core broken. And if there is a Talonflame, I wouldn't be surprised if there is a Whizcash potentially as a core because of its ability to counteract a lot of the, uh, the lanterns, right? We do see a shield there on the crunch. Guzzlord locked and loaded, but he's going to decide to shield right here as the Brave Bird or Fly, which is everyone's using Fly nowadays, right? The Fly is something you have to respect, and now they're looking to get two shields here from the Talonflame. Will they give it up? They do. Talonflame now completely out of shields. The counter swap into Tentacruel to try to catch the charge move. The Claude Sire counter swap. Now with seeing Talonflame and Claude Sire, I would put all my money on a Wiz Cash anchor. The Talonflame Wiz Cash core. That would be my guess. Will I be correct? I don't know. We'll have to find out as they're going to go ahead and look to shield this charge move as the, uh, the Earthquake is going to go ahead and be blocked right there. Tentacruel able to get to the Scald, and this is a beautiful situation to be in as they maintain switch advantage. They have lots of health. Guzzlord is still in the back at 50% HP, and no, it's a Trevenant! Even better! Trevenant is gonna get absolutely shredded by this team. The wing attacks, the dragon tails, it is all over. Now, Talonflame Trevenant core does make a lot of sense as well, and we will see that Guzzlord look to come in, and the Talonflame counter swap is going to seal the deal as Guzzlord can easily tank this fly right here. We will see the swap out into Mantine to catch the next charge move. The aggressive farm down and inevitably the aerial ace against the Trevenant to win this game. So that is going to be a good battle. Very well played. Mantine loving sitting in the back with a Guzzlord lead, right? Able to avoid all all of the lanterns, even though we haven't seen any just yet. Good game. All right, moving to the next one. Guzzlord on the lead versus Shadow Obama Snow. Okay, another very tough lead right here. We will see them swap into that Shadow, T Shadow Tentacruel to get ahead on energy, and there it is. There's the lantern. So this is a, a Shadow Obama Snow lantern core, and the Sludge Wave here, everyone. The Sludge Wave does so much damage, and it's probably gonna land, which is beautiful. That means Tentacruel's easily gonna take Switch right here, which is incredible to see. Not only did they avoid the Obama Snow on Guzzlord now, they drew out the Lantern, which is Mantine's hardest counter, and they got Switch Advantage with Energy, and the final Pokemon is going to be a Vigoroth. So they are not out of the woods just yet. Vigoroth can still be a big threat to this team. No attack debuff there as well as Vigoroth is going for the aggressive farm down. They have so much energy. They're going to have to come in with the Guzzlord right here. Mantine needs to be available for the Shadow of Bomba Snow. And Guzzlord can at least put pressure down with the Dragon Tail and Dragon Claw combination. It's also got a lot of health in order to absorb these multiple body slams that are going to be thrown. There's two already. I wouldn't be surprised if a third one is thrown very soon after this second one as we do see a counter swap now into Mantine and a counter swap back into a Bomba Snow. But a Bomba Snow is behind on energy. It's going to be forced to give up the final shield here against Mantine. Will a Bomba Snow be able to get an icy win. Actually, no, it's probably going to have Weather Ball right here. Shadow Obama Snows typically run it, but Mantine is going to be forced to shield either way. Weather Ball is not going to be landing. Mantine, oh, here comes the second one right here. This is going to do a lot of damage. Mantine needs to be very careful about how much energy it overloads right here because we will see one, two, three. Yeah, go ahead and throw it. This might just be enough. If Vigoroth wants to win this game, it's going to have to throw a Rock Slide in order to knock out the Mantine because it is not, Body Slam is not going to be enough health. They get to the Aerial Ace right here. This is going to do neutral damage. Switch Clock is coming back up. Guzzlord is lurking in the back. Will we see the catch on it? There it is, the swap in, but Vigoroth has to throw. If it didn't, Dragon Tail would have taken it down. So Body Slam now is going to knock out, but does Vigoroth have the back-to-back -back? no mantine is gonna take it and that is gonna be a good game very well played 
All right, moving to the next one. Shadow Dragonite on the lead. Dragon on Dragon. I imagine Dragon Tail is going to be wrecking right here. Look at the damage. Actually, the, no. Dragonite is getting outpaced. Guzzlord is hitting way too hard with the Dragon Tails as they decide to go for the early Dragon Claw right there, and they will get farm town, farmed down. So they are able to maintain switch advantage. Crunch right here going to do a decent amount of damage. Actually, it's about 30% or so. Or let's just round it up to 33.33. As we do see the swap out here into Tentacruel. So that was a double flyer line. I wouldn't be surprised once again if there is a Vigoroth as option number three. As the ABA fly double flyer teams are pretty strong in this meta. Scald is going to land the attack debuff was able to land as well, and we will see that Brave Bird most, yeah, it is going to be the Brave Bird that does land, and no, it's going to be Claude Sire in the back, Tentacruel needs to get to this Scald, and they get to it just in time, right at the edge of getting knocked out by Mudshot, but Scald will be shielded, and no attack debuff there. It is up to Mantine and Guzzlord now to try to win this game. Skarmory is still in the back, one-to-one -one shields, and this uh, Claude Sire has energy. Guzzlord's going to go ahead and let this go. The Stone Edge most likely. Yeah, Stone Edge is going to be able to knock out. It is up to Mantine to close this game out, and they have a lot of damage that they have to do. Now, unfortunately for Mantine, Stone Edge is super effective as well, so this is going to get very dicey very quickly, and if the opponent is able to capitalize on the Switch Cloth, they might be able to catch a charge move on that Skarmory, so let's see what happens. A shield is given up on the Aerial Ace. They know Mantine has access to Ice Beam. Mantine's overloading on energy. The Stone Edge is going to be coming through. We know it's not going to knock out, but the question is, will Skarmory catch the charge move? Will the Claude Sire get to a second Stone Edge in time? Here comes the Ice Beam. Is it going to be enough to knock out? No, it is not. Claude Sire is able to hang on and the opponent doesn't catch it. The Aerial Ace here is going to be winning charge attack priority. Claude Sire, are you going down? It is. It gets knocked out. Skarmory is all that is left and it is going to get fast move. No, the Skarmory hangs on with one HP in a dream. But will the Sky Attack KO? It does. Unfortunately, Skarmory is able to hang on. Good battle. All right, moving to the next one. Lantern on the lead. Very positive lead right here for the Guzzlord, and the opponent is staying in. You know what this means. This means they are core broken. Always read what your opponent is doing and not doing. That will be a tell for what is on their team. If a Lantern is facing off against Guzzlord with a defense drop and they are not swapping out, you can bet your biscuits that there is something else weak in the back. And sure enough, it is going to be Talonflame. As we do see the counter swap here into Shadow Tentacruel, which can absolutely cook this Fire Flyer with the Poison Jab Scald combination. They will give up one shield on this first fly. They're going to be able to get two Poison Jabs through right here and then go for the Scald. This is obviously going to do super effective damage. Lantern is far too low as well. So Talonflame is forced to shield. They desperately need to get rid of the Tentacruel. But Tentacruel says no. He is going to double shield right here and go for the aggressive farm down, which is a very strong... No, actually, okay. Deciding to go for Scald right here. Maybe from the swipes, they felt like that was a mis misplay because I think they could have gotten the two extra poison jabs through. But they just want to secure right there. Trevenant now coming in. So Scald is... I mean, it's got to be shielded. It does way too much damage. There is no more health left on this team. This is it. And the Trevenant does decide to shield. They get the attack debuff as well. But Trevenant is loading up on energy. We will see Mantine come in. The swap out into Lantern. The counter swap into Guzzlord. And that is going to seal the deal. Guzzlord is a wall. Guzzlord is a monster here against Lantern as it doesn't knock it out in time. But thankfully, because of the dragon typing, Lantern will not be able to knock out the Guzzlord. And that is looking to be a good game as Trevenant has to get rid of a Dark Dragon and a Flyer. And that is a very tall order for a very short tree. I don't think it's up to the task. And they do decide to surrender. So that is going to be a good game. All right, moving to the next one. Mantine on the lead. 
Gotta watch out for the Ice Beam, but this is manageable. Let's see how they decide to play it. Dragon Tail and Dragon Claw is a beautiful combination. Crunch is strong as well. First charge move coming through is going to be shielded here by the Guzzlord. Is it going to be that Ice Beam? No, it was an Aerial Ace bait. They got to overload on energy, anticipating a potential swap. They go on charge attack priority. They no shield, knowing that it is just an Aerial Ace. It was not enough energy for the Ice Beam. Crunch now, looking to come through, looking to chomp, looking to debuff right here, but will it be enough to KO? No, it is not. They will be able to counter swap though into Tentacruel, but not in time as the opponent is able to get one last Aerial Ace through, but that means the Mantine is out. What is going to be in the back? It's going to be a Decidueye. Decidueye does not like this team. There is Poison Jab. There is Scald. There is the Dragon Dark. There is the Flyer. This is a very tough... Look at that. You might have thought, there's the Scald. What do you mean there's the Scald? I mean the 60% damage Scald from a Shadow Tentacruel. Look at what it just did to that Decidueye's Frenzy Plant. Does knock out. Mantine could come in. Guzzlord could come in. What does he want energy on? It's going to be the Guzzlord. Counter swap into a Bomb of Snow right away. The crunch is being thrown. Hopefully this gets a debuff. Hopefully this gets a shield. Otherwise, Mantine is going to be in trouble. And it gets both. It gets the shield and the debuff. This is now a huge win condition here for Smoot a Criminal. I'm catching the name over there. Icy Wind is going to be no shielded. The Aerial Aces are going to be landing. And this is a beautiful situation to be in. Mantine does not need to fear. There is no Lantern in this game. It is a double grass team. And that's what Mantine likes to feast on. As we will see a second no shield here on this Icy Wind. Knowing that it won't KO. Complete composure here from this battler. Aerial Ace. Probably not enough to knock out. No, just not enough, but they will be able to fast move farm down and the Decidueye is going to go down as well. And that is going to be a good game. Very well played. All right, moving to the next one. Wizcash on the lead. You love to see it. Pairs well with Skarmory. Let's see what they're cooking. Wizcash deciding to stay in. Maybe they are core broken. Maybe it's a Talonflame in the back. Could be Altaria. Maybe Shadow Dragonite. But we will see a no shield and a chuckle there from Guzzlord as he laughs at the mud being slung at him as he goes ahead and goes for the uh, the crunch right here against the Wizcash. Now, will it get that debuff? This is why it does. The counter swap now into Mantine, so it might just be a double flyer backline. Wouldn't be surprised if this whole team is weak to Guzzlord considering the decisions being made in this battle. Counter swap now into Tentacruel. Poison Jab is putting in work, but Mantine can answer back with the Wing Attack Aerial Ace spam. But Tentacruel is bulky enough to be able to survive not only one, but two Aerial Aces. Will they give up a shield on this one or number three? They're going to go ahead and let it go. Tentacruel is going to ride the fine line right here. The dance between health and energy as they go ahead and go for Scald number one. Can this knock out? Will Mantine give up a shield? No, they don't. Mantine does go down. Wizcash comes back in, but it's not able to farm down in time. Shadow Tentacruel is too powerful. Scald is going to be knocking out. Will Wizcash shield? It does. Able to farm down. Gets debuffed as well, and Mantine can come in. Mantine can load up on energy, but it's probably going to be Guzzlord. Let's see how this plays out. No, it is going to be the Mantine. The counter swap into Tentacruel. And this is now a reverse mirror of what we saw in the mid game. But in this situation, Mantine has a 2 to 1 shield advantage, which definitely puts it leaps and bounds ahead of the Shadow Tentacruel as opposed to the 2 2 that we saw just a moment ago. The shield is going to go up. Scald, will it get the debuff? No, it doesn't. Mantine is flying high, even though it's in the water. But it's in the air right now, and Aerial Ace is going to get the final shield. Guzzlord is still in the back. This Tentacruel has no hope, and they do decide to surrender. Good game. All right, Guzzlord versus Vigoroth. Did I do a double battle? Oh, no. Did I do a double battle? We see a, a counter swap into Tentacruel right away. No, it's not a double battle because that is a Shadow Sableye. We have yet to see that in this set of battles, and Shadow Foul Play hits like a truck. 
Tentacruel gonna be giving up the shield here, looking to go for the Scald, trying to take this into the ones. And this is very interesting because as long as this goes into the ones, Mantine has potential to sweep in the end, but Sableye has to be very careful about when to throw the foul play, which they do decide to go to right now and a no shield here on this next charge move as it will be able to, boom, knock out. Now, Guzzlord has to come in. It has to farm down. It needs lots of energy. They need to watch out for the Power Gem. It's going to do quite a bit of damage. I would fear a Shadow Power Gem more than I would fear a Body Slam. Let's be completely honest. But they said no. They said what power? I don't care. It does 50% of my health. We're going to go ahead and farm down. And let's see. The Vigoroth comes back in. Crunch is going to be thrown. Mantine needs to get out onto the field. But it's going to come down to what is Pokemon number three. Here we go. Defense drop right there. Vigoroth is a sitting duck as Aerial Ace is going to be held right there. Uh, <laughs> Smoot Criminal, sorry. Smoot Criminal is going to be giving up the shield on the rock side. Vigoroth is not swapping out. What is in the back? What is weak to the Mantine? Will we see the water flyer sweep? Vigoroth goes down. The final Pokemon is Shadow Charizard. This is a huge potential win condition. Aerial Ace is going to be thrown. It's going to do neutral. Charizard has to watch out for the potential water pulse. And the opponent has to go for Blast Burn. That is their last hope. Even though this is resisted, this does so much damage. And no, they went for Dragon Claw. A critical mistake. Ice Beam is going to be thrown, but not in time. The next Dragon Claw is coming through. But can the Mantine hang on? No, it doesn't. A race now to the charge move. Guzzlord is able to get to it. Charizard is a sitting duck in the sky. He says, you want to be a dragon? Eat my claws. Boom, down it goes. And that is going to be a good game. Very well played. We're not done yet. Guzzlord versus Whizcash. Once again, on the lead. Let's see what the opponent decides to do. Staying in. Looking to go for the Mud Bomb and Dip. Most likely Guzzlord is core breaking a lot of these battles. This is exciting to see as Crunch is going to be landing right there. And a defense drop once again. Crunch is out of control. Guzzlord is laughing. We will see a shield. It is just going to be a Mud Bomb right there. Maybe fearing the potential Blizzard, which is a threat. And here is enough energy. Will Guzzlord give up two shields? No. Deciding to let it go through and it's just going to be a Mud Bomb and aggressive farm down. One to two shields. Lots of energy. Lots of health. Skarmory is now out onto the field. Crunch here. Looking to do a decent amount of chip damage, but will we see the swap out? We do, straight into the Tentacruel, knowing that Whizcash is out of the game. That is likely the hardest counter, the Whizcash was, to the Tentacruel, so it is perfectly safe. But what it is not safe from is a Brave Bird, and that is a good shield right there. No, there's a Lantern in the back as well. This makes a lot of sense why the opponent stayed in with Whizcash. They were fearing the Lantern versus Guzzlord matchup, but Tentacruel lands the Sludge Wave. A critical amount of damage there because now Guzzlord can safely come in and farm down, and then we will see Mantine versus Skarmory to close this game out. Guzzlord in a great position. Guzzlord going for the farm down. It's going to be able to spam. We're going to see the crunch be thrown. The final sh or the first shield of this game will go up here on the Skarmory. Skarmory does decide to shield. Gets the debuff as well. This Guzzlord's out of control. Able to get to the Dragon Claw right here. And now they need to get into this Mantine. This is such a critical moment because Mantine has to survive a Brave Bird. And it needs to land an Aerial Ace. Because air, uh, the Ice Beam will not be... It will take too long. I think it'll take too long. Sky Attack was thrown instead. Now they got a race. Do they get there in time? They do. This Ice Beam is going to be enough to KO. And that is going to be a good game. Boom. Very well played. Was that the last one? No, we got one more. All right. Moving into the final battle. We have Guzzlord versus Wizcash. Once again, Guzzlord is hunting. Guzzlord is fishing. The daddy cash is stuck on dry land. And it is once again 
core broken by the Guzzlord. This makes me want to run Guzzlord now on my team after watching these battles. We're going to see the Mud Bomb land. Wizcash is staying in. Crunch is now being thrown. You got a question. What is back there? Is it a Talonflame? Is it a Lantern? Something is weak to Guzzlord in it. Another defense drop. This Guzzlord is out of control. As we will see one shield be given up to maintain a lot of health. And an aggressive farm down is able to happen. And it's going to be Vigoroth coming in. A Crunch is going to be thrown. The counter swap into the Tentacruel is about to happen. Here we go. It is out onto the field. Vigoroth in a tough position. Body slams will hurt, but Poison Jab does more as the opponent now is going to be looking to go for Body Slam number one. And they are very close to Body Slam number two. So this Tentacruel needs to be careful. Skull, it's thrown right away. Great call right here. Got to put that water pressure back on the Vigoroth. Need to get yourself the one-to-one -one shield. And they do. No debuff. Second Body Slam coming through. Tentacruel is going to let it go. It is going to be up to Manti to try to win this game but poison it's gonna be a talon flame in the back they were core broken this is absolutely beautiful as guzzlord now can come in and they need to get this dragon claw off just before the fly can be thrown three incinerates to that first fly and the talon flame gives up the final shield of this game a counter swap now into mantine and they are in a very good position Fly is not going to be enough to one shot right here and all they need, they do decide to shield anyways just in case it was a brave bird and now they can easily survive this next charge move. Load up on energy and look to go for double aerial ace to win this game as they go ahead, oh they go for the ice beam right here, this is a good call anyways, this will be enough neutral damage to knock out the talon flame. Vigoroth is all by itself, Vigoroth is low and we do see a surrender so good battle right there what an incredible set of battles that is leaderboard worthy from smoot criminal with the guzzlord mantine shadow tentacruel combination shout out to smoot criminal thank you for sharing these battles huge congrats on your run uh expert all the way up to legend to leaderboards and absolutely dominating with this team i hope you guys enjoyed today's video and like always thank you for watching i'll see you in the next one